oh, I was saying at the beginning, like just even getting to be here, like nothing fancy, no like grand plan. It's just special just even getting to be, getting to be on the Zoom with you guys and just soaking that up. So thank you for being here. And I would love to, it's also Leanne's birthday, Janine, FYI, you weren't here yet, but we celebrated that when we had our little birthday Zoom party. Um, yeah. How freaking cool. How freaking cool. I like went on a whole trip just there, but I want to say something that, you know, everyone's going to hear it in their own way based on where they are. But I love this message for like on a birthday, like looking at the last year and looking at the next year and like all of that, but like you all take it for what you will. And that is like, we never really know the full extent of what's going to come forward from the choices that we make. Okay. And that is a very broad, vague statement. And I'm sure every single one of you is experiencing your own beautiful leading edge, higher self message as I offer these very general words. But what I want to promise you, and this is straight from my higher self, is that people love the offerings from your heart so much more than you can ever predict. Okay. Like our, our limited ego self on the inside will tell us lots of things about how perfect it has to be and how, how thought out and how planned. And honestly, when you come from your heart, the love that people have for what it is that you're offering, I, it's not even that we can't predict it. It's also that we don't ever even really know the full extent of the love that it inspires in other people. And to let that be kind of like a permission slip to offer what's in your heart to offer and to trust that there is so much more value in those heart-based offerings than you will ever really understand in this material plane. It's not for us to understand the true value of what we offer outside of how it lights us up, right? This brings me to life. This heart-centered activity, this heart-based idea, this, this thing that fills me with love and light and makes me float, that's, that's our business. It's lighting ourselves up and trusting that other people are going to get out of it, whatever it is that they are ready to get out of it. That's really not our business and trusting another side of it, which I is so beautiful, which is none of us are 100% talented and capable across the board. That is like not the way of this world. We each have our piece where this is my piece and I am, I'm brilliant I'm a genius at this piece and couldn't do that to save my life. But there's beauty in that because that part where that's not where you really shine and come to life, that's somebody else's part, right? Those, those weaknesses or deficiencies, exactly that, like that's where we come together with other people, with the teamwork of other people, the support, the contribution of other people. It's not for us to have it all. It's for us to have our part that brings us to life, that adds value, because of course it does. If it lights you up, then it adds value in the world. Case closed. And to let other people come in with their part, however you need. You know, what support do you need? What teamwork do you need? Like, I personally don't revel in managing finances and money and insurance and stuff like that. Like, great. Like, let me get a tax lady. Let me go sit with her for an hour and let her do some stuff for me and write her a check at the end of it. Cause like, great, right? Like teamwork. It's a beautiful thing. So to let ourselves off the hook for anything that is not your heart-based contribution and to really focus in on what is it that brings you to life and to trust that that is valuable. If it makes you happy, if it fills you with love, if it makes you float on air, then that's valuable for the entire world. 
and to not necessarily like hang our hat on the proof and the validation and the reflection of that value from other people. That comes with time, no doubt, every time. Like when you add value to the world, eventually you will be recognized for it. Sometimes after we're dead and gone, think about all the artists who like became famous artists like long after they passed away. They're really recognized for the value they added to the world, not always to their face, right? So you knowing it for you is by far the most important gift that we can give to ourselves. And again, I totally get that that was like such a vague general message, but I hope it gave you each space to like put yourself inside of it.